I was given the opportunity to travel around and work on different dams and structures all over the state. Really the job was the main driver in it. I was flying back and forth, staying in hotels, finding someone to watch my dogs for me while I was working. I just got tired of it and said, you know what, I want to take the dogs with me. And the RV lifestyle had been on my radar for a while, but I never really had the opportunity work-wise to be able to move out of a house and move into an RV. You go from, I've got an address with a driveway and a garage, and um, this is exactly where I live, and I can have friends over for barbecues, and you know, I know where I'm coming you know, home to every day. And then all of a sudden, <laughs> Home is where you want it to be, um, or where you need it to be for work more in my case. It was really easy, the, the unit that I picked and the systems that we built around it and the customizations that I've done to it have really lent itself to being an, an easy process, an easy transition from being sticks and bricks into full-time RV. With my work, I'm nowhere near RV resorts, I'm nowhere near RV parks, I, I don't have power and water, so the ability to be off-grid and still be able to live and work out of my RV was really critical you know, in making that happen. The coach came with two uh, typical lead acid RV batteries and they were terrible, you know, maybe 11, 12 hours. The AC system in this coach has a lot of things that run all the time, no matter what, and they're always trickling off the system. And so the lead acid's just right off the bat. I lived in it for two weeks prior to installing the entire upgraded system and it was the generator was running all the time i have about 55 hours on my generator now and 52 of them were from that first two weeks yeah that's the beauty of this this entire system was i needed enough watt hour capacity to run indefinitely if there's storms if there's no solar coming in i needed to be able to be five six days without having to worry about it and so when I chose the size of the battery bank, you know, the, the 14 batteries gave me just under 17,000 watt hours of, of capacity. The only way that I was able to do that was because of lithium ion. Because these batteries weigh 28, 29 pounds a piece instead of 88 to 100 pounds a piece. Lithium ion was a no brainer from the beginning. It was just how big can I go, both, you know, pocketbook and weight capacity. You know, when I designed the system, I needed to be as foolproof as possible. I couldn't have one part of the system fail and not have a backup for it. So in a case where, you know, just this last winter down in Southern California, there were days on end where I, it was completely overcast. It was raining. I didn't have solar coming in. If I get to five and six days without solar, then I start really draining my battery bank, which is where this emergency backup, my 5,500 watt Onan with the auto transformer allowed me to continue staying off grid and not have to worry about power. So that was just a backup, it's a fail safe. And I have to have fail safes because my system has to run no matter what. Battleborn specifically, I, I'm huge on local. I'm a fifth generation Nevadan on my, on my mom's side. And the fact that you guys make those batteries right here in Reno, Nevada just makes sense for me. It's hard to not recommend them to anybody, but the biggest thing is price point on these. But as long as people can understand and appreciate what you're getting when you spend that money, it's not difficult to recommend them to anybody, whether you put two of them in a coach. Just replace your two lead acids with these two, and that will actually boost the amount of available amp hours you actually have to use. Or you can put 14 of them in and run forever.